Welcome to Paris, the French capital known as the city of love. And it's a city where the streets overflow with history, culture and beautiful architecture. And for a 15th year, we're here at the Stade Pierre de Coubertin for the Yonex French Open, the last of only four Super 750 events on the HSBC BWF World Tour. And this is the magnificent World Tour Finals Trophy. The World Tour Finals scheduled to take place in Guangzhou in December. Well, it's semi-finals day here today at the French Open, and this evening we have five matches in the second session of the day. We're starting with women's doubles and an all unseeded affair. The new pair from Korea, Beit Kana and Lee So Hee, beaten finalists last week in Denmark in their very first tournament together. They're up against the Commonwealth Games gold medalists, Pearlie Tan and Tina Mora Litheran. Then it's mixed doubles and the European Championship bronze medalists, Tarbalin and Peak, are up against Kusharianto and Kusuma Wati, who played so well in their quarter final against the French pair yesterday. Then it's men's singles and Victor Axelsson, the reigning world and Olympic champion and beaten finalist here 10 years ago as an 18-year-old. He's up against Kodan Nar Naraoka of Japan, who's in his second semi-final in two weeks. Then it's women's singles and two former champions here at the French Open. Herbing Zhao, winner here six years ago, up against Tai Su Ying, the Olympic silver medalist. Then we finish with men's doubles and an all unseeded affair. The Commonwealth Games silver medalist Ben Lane and Sean Vendy up against Lu Qing Yao and Yang Po Han of Chinese Taipei. Well, with women's doubles being our first semi-final of this evening's session, a chance for us to look at the draw. We did indeed start with eight seeds by round two. We were down to seven seeds by quarter-finals. As you can see, we were down to six seeds and only two seeds in the top half of the draw. The three pairs from Korea, three from Japan, which means that only four different nationalities at quarter-final stage, which makes the women's doubles the least diverse of all five disciplines. By semi-finals, two seeds, none in the top half of the draw. And that is why we have this all-unseeded semi-final, the first of our matches here this evening on semi-final Saturday at the Onyx. French Open. Incidentally, just to uh, reiterate that the 2018 winners of the women's doubles title here at the French Open, the two-time former world champions Matsumoto and Nagahara came through that all-Japanese battle uh, in the bottom half of the draw. Actually had to save three game points in the second game against Fukushima and Hirota. Well, as has been the case every single day of these championships, we have a fantastic crowd in here at the Pierre de Coubertin Stadium. Well, our first match, and this should be a close affair. It's a match I'm very much looking forward to. Pearly Tan and Tina Mora Litheran are only the second women's doubles pair from Malaysia to reach a semi-final here at the French Open since the inception of the Super Series and now World Tour. But leading out the two pairs is Big Kana and Lee Sohi. They formed their partnership just last week at the Denmark Open. They reached the final, losing out to the world champions Chen Ching Cheng and Jia Yi Fan. But what a wonderful set of results they had last week in Ordenza. They beat Matsumoto and Nagahara, beat the former world number ones Kim and Kong, semi-final. They beat the All England champions Matsuyama and Shida. So a little bit of personal history here for Pearlie Tan and Tina Mura Litoran. As I was saying, only the second pair from their nation to contest the women's doubles semi-final here at the French Open. And it's only their second appearance at this prestigious event. Well, this 
will be a first meeting that's understandable between these two pairs because the Koreans only formed their partnership last week and if they didn't play last week then they couldn't have played each other previously. So the Koreans have won the toss of the coin and have chosen to serve which means that the Malaysians have been able to choose which end they start this match. Bei Kana is making her second appearance here at the French Open. Lost in the first round her only previous visit to this event when she was playing with Jung Kong. Mm, but this lady has a chance to make history today because she's already been in four finals. Two-time defending champion is Lee So-hee with her former partner, Shin Siang Chan, who you can see there, achieved a highest ranking of two. So earlier today, Shen Shi Wei booked his place in a fifth final here at the French Open. Can Lee So-hee achieve the same remarkable feat. Bei Karnar is the younger of the two, six years younger at 22 years of age. Uh, don't pay any attention to their current world ranking because that's just one tournament towards their world ranking. They have uh, beaten the All England finalists in the first round, and that was uh, Chang Xuxian and Shen Wu. And then the number six seeds, Kitty Harakan and Prajongjai. And then a wonderful win in the quarter-final against the 2016 winners Chen Ching Cheng and Jia Yi Fan, the reigning and three-time world champions. So to the Malaysians, and this is Pearly Tan, 22 years of age from Kida. And she and her partner are one place down from their career high. Uh, they have been at number 10, that was eight consecutive weeks from the 17th of May earlier this year. Tina Muralitharan from Salanga, same height as her partner. And their first visit was last year to the French Open and they lost out to Ramadanti and Sugi Arto. And as you can see, they got revenge over Ramadanti, who this year was playing with Rahayu, the number seven seeds. Needed three games to come through that. Then more Indonesians in the second round, Kasuma and Pratiwi. And then the All England champions, Matsuyama and Shida. Three games as we look at our court officials. And it was their first win against that Japanese pair in yesterday's quarter final. And that was in their seventh meeting. So that really was a breakthrough result for Pearly Tan and Tina Muro Litharan. So as you saw, our court officials are from Vietnam and Belgium. Lee Kyung Wong, the Korean coach. Well, wonderful results last week for the Korean new pair, and good results this week too. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Murali, Taran, Hina, and Palitan, Malaysia. On my left, Li Sohi, Behana, Korea. <laughs> Behana to serve to Kalitan, Labo, play. So the new Korean pair of Behana and Li Sohi getting this semi final underway against the young Malaysian pair of Muralitharan. And pearly turn. Well, delighted to say that sitting alongside me is former Danish head coach, Steen Pedersen. One, and Steen, it really would be remarkable if Lee So He could reach a fifth women's doubles final here at the French Open. That would be extraordinary, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would. 
Kim. They have a good chance. They've really played well as a new pairing, both in Denmark and here. Oh, that's great defense from Pearly Tan. Service over. One all. Well, Lee so he, I know I'm sort of getting ahead of myself, but I was checking the record books because she's won the last two French Opens, which were 2019 and then again last year. Of course, there was no French Open in 2020 because of the global pandemic. But no player has won three consecutive titles at the French Open since the inception of the Super Series and World Tour. Yeah, good work by the Malaysians. One of them running off in the middle of that rally to change her racket. Cool. Off goes Pearly Tan. One. Grabs a new racket. Good work. Really powerful smashes from the Koreans. Two, all. And they can also play this attacking style, the Koreans. I think mostly they play from a solid defense, but um, if it's needed, they can go on the attack. Three, two. Yeah, that's a lovely shot from Pearly Tan. Oh, yes, good drive defense from Baker now. Service over. Three, all. It's beauty. The left. Well, I think we might see a number of these long rallies, Steve. I think so too. So I think it's two pairs that match that up so. really well. I said that yesterday as well. <laughs> Today it's because they, they um, Four, three. the natural playing style is opposite of each other. The way I see it, the Koreans like to play a little bit more patient, whilst Tarantino wants to attack. I was impressed with Tanantina yesterday against Matsuyama and Chida. I got their first ever win. I think they developed throughout the match. Oh, that was going to go along with the back line. Wow. Terrific play. And this could be one of the uh, important matchups within the match. Can Bekana. Um, Make her presence felt from the back court. I feel Five, that Lee So he is the three. strongest, the most powerful smasher of the two. Also, uh, an advantage in height compared to her partner. So, um, can they can that in the long run make her presence felt from the back court? That's going to be interesting to see. It could very well be um, decisive for the outcome. Service over. Four, five. 
ไปFrom uh, Polytan. Oh, that surf may have been going short, you know. So he six. That's good angle on eight. all her attacks almost. But if we look at the um, Talentina against Korean pairs, then um, the overall Seven score is uh, three all and. Let's not forget that it was six. against Bekana and her then partner Lee that uh, Peritan had to retire in Japan Open. They've beaten them once, but they were down in the uh, third game when she retired. But of course, because she played for a long, long time with the Ten. injury. Six. And they've beaten Lee so he with her then partner Shin Sung Chan in their only encounter. Short. Seven, so. Seven, ten. the mid-game interval with a four-point advantage, Pearlie Tan seven, and Tina Muro Littoran. My goodness, they've started well to this semi-final, the Malaysians.
11, 7, play. So play resumes with the Malaysians with a four-point advantage. previous pair to reach the semi-final stage of the women's doubles at this particular tournament. That was 14 years ago with Chinny Wee and Wong Pei Ti, and they actually went on to reach the final. Yeah. Lost out in the final Eight. to Du Jing wow. and Yu Yang. China was really dominant at those times. Yeah. They both had a swipe at it, the Koreans, and both missed it. Service over. 13. Hey. A little hand signal, just letting her partner know what serve she's going to employ. Oh. Yeah, that's a good interception from Lee so he Service over. Nine, thirteen. And I feel she's more adventurous in this partnership than her former partner, Shin Sung Chan. It's often Shin who was um, doing the creative things. So far, it's lived up to my expectations. This yeah. game's doubles. Very entertaining. It is, Nine. isn't it? Just long. Well, I think she's been inspired by a wonderful <laughs> cross court net shot she played in yesterday's match, Mura Litharan. The one from 18 to 19 or something. Yeah. Oh, it was a wonderful shot, wasn't it? It's not long. Oh. Yeah. I think it was even play of the day, wasn't it? I think so. And I think we see the shot was a little bit faster than the, the morning yeah. session. Here in uh, Pierre de Coubertin Stadium. Service over. Oh, both the Malaysians have made a service error now. 11, is that 16. just because the stadium is literally heated up with, I th I think the, so. with the fans? I think so. It's nice weather outside. I know this second session oh. is sold out. Um, so it's warm in here. It is warm in here. It's interesting that the Koreans have not felt that they could sort of play from the defense here in the first game. Where they're playing up against the, the slight drift there is. Ah! <laughs> 
Well, well, good spot yeah. by the umpire. It's pearly tan to serve. Missed it. I think you're right, Steen, about Lee so He's definitely more adventurous in this partnership. Yeah. Willing to go for things at the front of the court. I know she missed on that occasion, but in fact, she's willing to try and intercept. Oh, that's a good serve. Oh, Wait. my goodness. How on earth did the Malaysians win that rally? She saw the mixed doubles from uh, the morning session where Jiang Siwei played exactly the same shot. That's how she learned. That's gone yeah. long. No. Nope. Oh, cool, good. I beg your pardon. Well, 19. Yep. Clash of rackets and one racket that won't see another shuttle Seven again. Twenty game point thirteen. Frame absolutely smashed to smithereens. So game point opportunities, seven of them for Pearlie Tan and Tina Mora Lutheran. Oh. That's gone long. Yeah. Opening game to the Malaysians. Okay. And what a fabulous yeah. opening game it was. They went on the attack, they maintained the attack, they were solid in defence. Pearlie Tan and Tina Mora Lutheran. Opening game, 21-13. New shuffle to get the second game underway. Do you like the lowering of the court lights during second the game. interval and the players being Love spotlighted? Oh, I didn't even think about it. Steen. I noticed that, but I didn't give it a thought. I think it's nice. Uh, I like that. Not that I could read any of my notes. I didn't have enough light <laughs> on the desk to read my notes. We've got to get one of one those fluorescent love. pencils to write with. Yeah, good idea. So you know my Christmas present then. Yeah. Oh, 
brilliantly taken by Tina Mora Litheran. One all. That was magnificent. Oh, she's got back the neck cord. Nice. Well, if I had to, to hazard a guess at what Lee Kyung Wong has Two, said to her players one. during the two-minute timeout, it would be that they've got to be more patient in their attacking play, more varied. In the opening game, I thought they were just hard-hitting virtually yeah. all of the time, but it was more varied in that previous rally. Good. Big miss here. Three, one. It's a two-minute interval. I think Ikeng Won was only there for one minute or so, so she, it's short but uh, sharp comments she has. And then she uh, shouts a lot during the two, actual play. Three. Not, not during play, but in the intervals between the rallies yeah. here to sort of direct them. Necessary because it's a new combination. Yeah, nice smash from Baker Hana. Service over. Four, two. Are they going more towards the sidelines in the attack? The Koreans. I think we saw some of that from the Malaysians yesterday against Shida and Matsuyama. Do you see what I mean, so That yeah, was yeah, more, yeah. Patient, more, more patient and much more varied in the attack Five. before going for the winner. Service over. Three, five. Last time she returned, she just lifted back on up. Not this time. Yeah. Good Seven powerful goal. smash from Lee So He. Six, three. Lee Kyung Won really Seven, enjoyed that three. one. Time the, the Malaysians really established a working attack here in the second game. Oh, that's lovely. Five, 
You'd never think that Pearlie Tan is coming back from injury, would you? I mean, I think they're playing better than ever. I think so, too. I can't help but wonder, you know, sometimes when a, a player has an injury and it's sort of, it's a sharp reminder, you know, that this I'm doing what I love and I'm not making the most of every opportunity and it could all be taken away by... A, it has limited time. It has limited time. You don't know when injuries are going to strike. That's long of the back line. Yeah. And therefore, there's more sense of an urgency to work on your game, yeah, to uh, oh. make the most of every opportunity in every tournament. Yeah. I wonder if they're feeling a bit like that. Short. Yep. Well taken. Well, this is extraordinary, isn't it? Uh, I was impressed by them yesterday uh, because I didn't think they had the physicality yet to match Machiama and Shida, but eventually they had. Yeah. And uh, also here in this match, they're able to uh, penetrate the uh, Korean defense, which I think is normally very solid. Yeah. Well, it's a run of five straight points and into the lead for the first time in this second game. Make that six straight points. Nine, seven. So far it's been the pair who's attacking that has won the rallies here in the second game, so now it's down to service situation. Oh, lucky net court. Yeah, she immediately apologizes. Service over. Eight, nine. Oh, yeah. well taken. Yeah. And also the first uh, turnaround by Lee, so he immediately Blocking and moving forward. Nine all. This one. Yeah. Oi. Well, that was a complete miss hit from <laughs> Tina Mura Litheran. Service over. Yeah, it came off the Nine. frame. It will count, though. Oh, what defence! So there will only be one point Ten. in it at the mid-game interval. Oh. Oi, oi, oi. Oh, she's hit it long. Would you believe it? Absolutely anticipated the drop and shot seven. from Tina Moro Lutheran. And then the attempted kill going along with the back line. So it is the Malaysians who have the one point advantage here in the second game, having already won the first. Ah, Yeah. 
11. Well, it has been a hugely Bad. entertaining women's doubles so far. Play. Both pairs really looking to try and get on the attack. Oh, well, now the lucky net board in favour of the Malaysians. That's one all, I think, in this second game of lucky net boards. Well, ten. That's a great serve. Wait. It's gone long. Service so over. 11, 12. Too long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. been a little bit off the last four or five rallies. Um, Pearly Tan. A couple of misses mid court area. 13, 12. Yeah, that's really quite markedly long of the back line. And I think she was going to, to challenge until her partner said, no, no, don't. No. It's going wide. Oh. Ooh, that's worth a challenge, surely. He's not going to. No. You saw it as in then? Yeah. Let's have a closer look. It's a sideline in question. Ooh. It was close. It was very close. So four straight points now for the Koreans. This is a very good little spell by the Koreans. Drops long of the back line. But five straight That's points for the Koreans has actually put a different complexion okay. on this second game now. Malaysians having to play catch up. Whoops. Well recovered. in this second game here because Perle Tan looks totally confused. Fourteen, fifteen. Mm -hmm. Tian Hao giving the instructions. That's a lovely shot. Run off to change her racket. Back on. Well, 
What a rally. Wow. Brilliant. Yes. That is incredible. Early time off she goes, grabs a new racket, back on. Final shot from Tina Mora Litheran. Absolutely brilliant. Thirty seven shots. Fifty on. So back level, my goodness me, it's all happening here. And we love it. Oh, look at that defence. Oh, wow. Brilliant. I just love the fact Back that off. Tina Mora Litheran looks to do something 16. with her defensive play. It's not just getting it back, she wants to get it back with interest. Fabulous shot. Play. I'm playing the best I've ever seen her play, uh, Tina Moore Little One. 18, These last eight, ten rallies, she's kept it together. And not only that, she's also scored. 6 of the last seven points to the Malaysians. After losing five straight points. Yeah, here to move forward. Got herself to the net and two points away from the final. The Malaysians have never been in a World Tour Super 500 or above final. Is this the moment? Got to put the enormity of the situation out of their minds. Seventeen, nineteen. Stand up, hey, last half point, ah. Good flick. What a one. Oh, they're challenging. They're challenging. Well, it's virtually impossible for us to see here. But they both immediately raised their arms to challenge. This is vital. This could be an emotional challenge and uh, sort of get a break. Let's get ready to see if we can win. No. No. What a good challenge. It is match point opportunities for Pearlie Tan and Tina Murray Litheran. 20 match point 17. Tina Moore Litheran beat 
both Kana and Lee Sohee in two straight games. 21-13, 21-17. And in doing so, Pearly Tan and Tina Moralitharan become only the second pair from Malaysia to reach a women's doubles final here at the French Open. 14 years after Chini Wee and Wong Pei Ti lost in the final in 2008. For them, a personal milestone. They've won a Super 300 event. That was last year at the Swiss Open. But this is a huge step forward in the careers of Pearly Tan and Tina Muradisran. No wonder the Malaysian flags are flying. And it wasn't just the win, it was the manner in which they won today's match. Absolutely superb. 41 minutes of aggressive, controlled badminton. And the reward to place in tomorrow's final. There's the final point to tame way for the Koreans to lose the match. The error on the return of serve by the two-time defending champion. Lee so he well not to be a fifth final for her but what a magnificent women's doubles badminton of the highest quality the style of play the attacking play that we all so love to see no wonder they're delighted so they should be. They've announced their arrival as contenders on the world stage. Confirmation of that scoreline, 21-13, 21-17 in 41 minutes. So welcome back to the Stade Pierre de Coubertin here in Paris. Semi-finals day at the Yonex French Open. What a super way to get our evening session underway with a tremendous attacking women's doubles and Tina and Pearly coming through that in two straight games. Well, next up is mixed doubles. It's an all-unseeded affair. It's the European Championship bronze medalists 